Hi everybody, this is David from Girls Who Code in Newton. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to get started using PyCharm EDU for the very first time. PyCharm is a program that you can use to write your own programs in the Python language. I'm going to assume that you have Pyth PyCharm installed on your machine already, either at a club or a public library or at home. If you don't, there are good videos online made by the JetBrains company, which makes PyCharm, that shows you how to get it. In this video, we're going to talk about starting PyCharm for the very first time, creating a project in PyCharm, writing your very first program, Hello World, in Python, running it, and then cleaning up. We'll have more videos on using PyCharm in the future. So here I am on a Macintosh, and I've got PyCharm here in my dock. If you're on a Windows machine, you might need to launch it in a different way, and if you don't have it in your dock, you might need to find it in the Applications menu. The very first time I run PyCharm, it says I haven't quite completed the installation, and it's asking me if I have preferences from before that I want to keep. I don't, so I just choose this last selection and click OK. When PyCharm fires up, it will give me a few different ways that I can use to create my new project. The first one is to take a class that somebody else created using PyCharm. The second is to create a new project from scratch. I could also open an existing project or check one out from a version control site like GitHub, Subversion, and the like. In this video, I'm going to keep it simple and create a new project to begin with. So what will I call it? I'll call it um, first project. Why not? So a project is a way of grouping together a bunch of programs and files that you want to use. And you can stay in the same project for a long time, or you can create a new one whenever you feel like it. So here we are. I've got my project. And the very first thing I want to do is make a program within it. So holding down the Control key, I click with the mouse, and it gives me a few options. And I want the new, and here we go, new Python file. And I can give it a name, and so of course I will call it hello world.py. And I click OK, and it gives me a blank screen where I can type things. So I will type uh, the traditional hello world code, or I just say print hello world, and there we go. So now I have written hello world in Python, and to run it, I simply press the screen play button which tells me it will execute hello world.py. I do it, and sure enough, it worked. Hello world. If I want to be a little uh, creative, I can add some more things. This is David. I'm stuck in your computer. And now when I run it, it gives me the whole output. So now I've created my program, and I've run it. You might ask, well, what about saving it? And PyCharm automatically saves things as you go along and puts them in this spot on your local disk drive on your computer. So I don't need to worry about saving it. It auto-saves. So now that I'm all done, I'll clean up. I'll go over to the File menu and close the project. And now it's offering me to start up again with these various choices, but I will just quit. So I go up to here, and I quit PyCharm EDU. So that's it. We've made our first project. If you want to see it again, if you start up PyCharm EDU the second time, it doesn't give you that initial thing about preferences. It goes straight to what kind of project you want to do. So we'll learn more about that in the next video. Bye.